just work children. Giovanna Wilson here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I am a Cambridge graduate who is on a mission to support as many students out there as I possibly can, as well as supporting people with organisation, motivation and success. So today's video is a follow on from last Sunday's video on GCSEs to A-level transition. If you haven't watched that and you are a GCSE student, then I suggest you watch this first. But if you are an A-level student who is going to be looking into going to university, I want to talk about the transition between the two, what's different and how best to prepare for that whole situation. Now, there's loads of stuff I'm going to touch on in this video. I think it's just worth starting with the fact that when you go to university, everything in your life is different for some people. So you may be moving away from home for the first time, you're going to be living on your own for the first time, you're going to be meeting completely new people, you're going to be in a completely new area, and you're going to be doing a completely new form of learning. So there's lots of new things and I think my biggest tip is to really view this as an exciting time rather than a daunting time in your life it's gonna be brilliant you are going to love university and everything that comes with it and the more that we can be open to ideas the more that we can get involved in certain things and the more that we can just realize that everything's different and to give ourselves a break if we might be struggling a little bit with certain things and certain adaptations to university that's the first thing that I would say so be used to a lot of change be prepared for that and be open to new people new ideas new hobbies new food new budgeting things all different news and be also ready to give yourself a bit of a break if you need it a thing that comes along with that with university that I think you need to expect in that transition is independence and that's not just in everyday life which is obviously a big factor but I want to talk about the independence that you now have with your academia so there won't be registers you won't be checked upon if you didn't attend a lecture or if you came in late or if if you were out late last night, that won't sort of be monitored like it is currently now at school. And I like to say that you're not going to get your hand held as much and be guided through it. It's down to you and really what you put in is what you get out. You need to organise your own time. You need to organise your own deadlines and work. And you need to make sure that you're on the ball with all of those different things and accountable for doing those things. So be prepared for that independence. Be prepared to get something to start planning your time well and start organizing that workload on your own terms and with this independence comes you figuring out the way that you're going to learn best so like I always give students tips lower down I would say figure out what works for you okay just because something might work for someone else what works for you is going to be key and you'll be able to trial and test a few things when you get to university but be prepared to be more independent, to do things more on your own terms. And the people that put the work in will definitely be the people that really succeed. Now, the biggest difference that comes with universities is lectures, in my opinion. Lectures are much different to lessons. So there can be up to 300 people in a lecture with someone at the front, usually with a PowerPoint behind them, talking through an area of whatever the subject is, is probably an area that's their speciality. So they really, really know their stuff. They're high-end experts on the things that they're going to be telling you about. Now, unlike lessons, you can't just stop them from talking. You can't just tell them to wait while you copy them down. Some lecturers work in different ways, so they might take questions or they might throw questions out to the lecture hall so that's something you're gonna have to get used to because everyone's different but ultimately you're not going to get as much control as you would in a lesson they're often very very fast paced and you've got to be able to keep up with those notes so my third tip on that transition between a levels in universities to get prepared for that decide whether you're going to be working on your laptop or whether you're going to be scribbling notes down in lectures and really come up with how you're going to be taking your notes during this time. One thing that I found that I did quite a lot in first year and tried to stray away from in second and third year was the fact that I tried to get 
everything that this lecturer was saying and the things on their slides down on a piece of paper and it was just ridiculous because I wasn't listening to what they were saying I was just trying to take notes frantically the whole time so my biggest piece of advice would be to allocate some time after your lectures to go through what they were saying write up your notes in neat and when you're actually sat in there listen to what they're saying digest the information and if there's something that's not on the slides that's interesting that they've said if they've told you to go read something specific that's what you should be jotting down do not try and jot down everything that they're saying because ultimately you're going to find you're not really engaged in the lecture and you're probably going to end up a couple of slides behind. Um, and that is something that I learned the hard way in first year. So I wish people had told me about that before I started. Another thing that comes with the university that you might not be used to in previous study is essays. Essays are often what we have to write in our assignments or for our exams and some people will have never probably written a real long essay in their academic life depending on what subject you are doing. So really get in the hang and get in as much practice with essay writing as you can is something that I would recommend and something that I thought really made my writing come along whilst I was at university. Obviously practice was one and responding to feedback but reading other people's essays and reading, for me, it was scientific papers. The more you can read someone doing what you're trying to do, the more it's sort of, you sort of adapt and understand what sort of language you should be using, what sort of structure works for you. And I think if you can fully immerse yourself in reading and looking at other people's versions, then that is going to be something that can really, really help you with essay writing. I've also done a full video on how to plan an essay. So I would go back to that video if essay writing is something that you do have to do when you get to university and you're feeling a bit lost to begin with. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this A-Levels to University video is the fact that you are unable to learn absolutely everything. Now this did come as a shock to me and something that I did struggle with was because when we had worked in GCSEs and A-Levels from specifications, I just ensured that I knew every spec point, I was on it, I worked from my spec and I really, really found it useful that I could learn the whole course and be prepared for anything that was thrown at me in an exam. You learn so much at university that it is pretty much impossible to fully immerse yourself in the whole course. Now you can view this as a positive or a negative. The positive to take away from this is you can actually spend more time focusing on the things that you really enjoy and you're really good at and that is the thing that I would recommend you do. If there's specific areas that you find really interesting then throw yourself into that, do some extra reading on that. If there's other areas that you hate, obviously having a brief understanding is pretty important because it still could come up in exams but don't go as far into that because often when it comes to university exams too particularly when they're longer answer questions and essay writing you will get a choice so fingers crossed you can choose those things that you're good at and you've looked into but trying to learn everything trying to spread yourself too thin from everything that you've learned could end up being a downfall for you. I think it's much better to go more in depth on less things than try and get a baseline, like pretty good knowledge of everything across the board. So there's been a few things that I would like to just share with you in preparing from going from A-levels to university. I hope you can take something away from this. Please let me know if there's any other videos that you are looking for from this channel. We're doing entertaining stuff, we're doing education-based stuff, and we're also doing wellness videos. If you're an A-level biology or an A-level chemistry student, then there's some links down for you in the description box with some tutorial stuff and some really great supplementary information that I have prepared for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Keep smashing it. And remember, anything is possible if you just work. Bye.